The technique of syringing is very straightforward but also very important. The key aspect is that the anatomy of the punctum, the ampulla and the canaliculus needs to be understood. The lacrimal cannula initially passes vertically downwards but then needs to turn through 90 degrees to slide along the canaliculus into the sac or reaching a common canalicular block prior to injecting. There's no need to dilate the punctum and there's no need to use any local anaesthetic. A very gentle hand and a very careful change of direction is all that's required. If the lacrimal cannula cannot pass through the punctum then there is punctal stenosis by definition. Okay, it's worth looking at that again. So if you're right-handed, stand behind the patient and for the right eye, put the lower lid on tension with your left hand and hold the syringe ready to inject. With the right eye, hold the syringe in, in your fingers, depressing the plunger with your forefinger. Rest your wrist on the patient's forehead and that way you can do your change of direction by simply rolling your hand round the side of the patient's forehead. Change grip then for the left eye using your thumb now to depress the plunger if you're right-handed and again balance your hand on the patient's forehead and have absolutely no pressure on the tip of the lacrimal cannula as you slide through and this will keep the patient comfortable throughout this, this syringing technique.